hello students i am starting uh, last topic system of particles and uh, rotational motion so this is my uh, part one video so i am going to divide this whole topic into three to four videos and uh, in the entire uh, uh, topic i am going to explain these uh, 15 important points so starting with uh, the definition of rigid body types of motion then uh, precision uh, center of mass and the linear momentum angular momentum and the relation between linear and angular momentum torque and the conservation of angular momentum in this way i am going to explain uh, the all the concept of uh, rotational motion and uh, rigid body so first of all rigid body so what is rigid body rigid body means uh, uh, so it is something like a very rigid it does not change its shape and size when you apply the force so but in this universe no such body is available where when you apply the force and the body does not change its shape and size yade vastu thodri new force apply madad mele shape matte size badal age agutte change age agutte but rigid body annodu ond theoretical concept ond kalpanege matra idu simitavagide so what means a rigid body is a body which is having a definite shape and Uh, which is having a unchanging shape and which is having a perfectly definite and unchanging shape this is called rigid body so in this way you can define the rigid body so what is rigid body if question is asked a rigid body is a body with perfectly definite and unchanging shape unchanging shape because when you apply the force its shape does not change and why it is not changing it's just because in the whatever uh, the rigid body having its particles it is made up of particles and there will be a distance between each particle so that distance between all pairs of particles in the rigid body does not change if you take the example of sponge if you squeeze it then sponge becomes very small which means the distance between the sponge particles becomes less reduces that is the reason sponge reduces its size that is the reason sponge is not a rigid body but in the case of rigid body the distance between all pairs of particles does not change it is just because it is just because it's a theoretical concept so we need one rigid body and the kelavondu concept galana na explain madbekadre ondu namage body beku a body adu shape anna kalkolbardu anta ondu body beku namage so adakke nave madivi rigid body annanta ondu concept anna create madkondivi so rigid body is a imaginary body it's a concept a theoretical concept it exists only theoretically practically it does not exist and there are different types of rigid body so we can have a translation motion not just translation pivot translational so pivot translation andre na if you if you consider one rigid body which is moving from one place to another place then if it is having a same velocity all the time yavade time nalli new adana velocity new kandidu bitre a velocity en irbeku same irbeku so avag matra nave madabodu ee rigid body anna adakke ond pivot translation motion ide ant helabodu yakandre rigid body is consisting of so many number of particles if all the particles if all the particles of the rigid body if they are having the same velocity at any particular instant of time then the motion of rigid body is called pivot translation example motion of a block on a inclined plane i will show you one uh, animation here it's a rigid body ಇದೊಂದು ವುಡನ್ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ಏನಿದೆಯಲ್ಲ ಇದನ್ನ ನಾನು ರಿಜಿಟ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಅಂತ ತಿಳ್ಕೊತೀನಿ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ರಿಜಿಟ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಅಜುಮ್ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಟೂ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಪಿ ಒನ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪಿ ಟು ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಫ್ ಪಿ ಒನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪಿ ಟು ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಅ ಸೇಮ್ ವೆಲಾಸಿಟಿ ವೈಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೂವಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ದಿ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೈಂಡ್ ಪ್ಲೇನ್ ದೆನ್ ದ ಮೋಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಪಿ ವರ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಷನ್ ಮೋಷನ್ ಇವಾಗ ಪಿ ಒನ್ ಒಂದು ಅಲ್ಲೇ ಉಳ್ಕೊಂಡು ಪಿ ಟು ಮಾತ್ರ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೈಂಡ್ ಪ್ಲೇನ್ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಇನ್ ಇದು ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮೂವ್ ಆದಂಗೆ ಇದು ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೈಂಡ್ ಪ್ಲೇನ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಸೊ ಪಿ ಟೂನು ಅದೇ ರೀತಿ ಮೂವ್ ಆಗಿಬಿಟ್ರೆ ಪಿ ಒನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅಲ್ಲೇ ಉಳ್ಕೊಂಡ್ಬಿಡ್ತದೆ ಪಿ ಟು ಮಾತ್ರ ಮೂವ್ ಆಗಿಬಿಟ್ರೆ ಸೊ ಅವಾಗ ಅದನ್ನು ನಾವು ಪಿ ವ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಷನ್ ಮೋಷನ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿಬಾರ್ದು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಯಾರ್ ಸಿ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ಹೌ ದಿಸ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೂವಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೈಂಡ್ ಪ್ಲೇ
P1 and P2 particles of this block is having a same velocity. That is the reason this type of motion is called Piver translation. So what is Piver translation? So Piver translation is a motion in which the all the particles of the rigid body will be having a same velocity at all the time. Then example two, motion of waves on a parabolic path. Ilon do whose is around object is there? Idu parabolic path walaghe idu na move marti ne. Iriti. So idu now translation motion, pure translation motion. Anta kari bodo. Ekke dure all the particles of this waves having a same velocity at all the time. Yeah, other particular instant of time ne nori. So idra ilon do all particles walaghe vande tar na the velocity iro dorinda. Idu now pure translation. The Karibodu. Then, if you take uh, one more type of motion which is having a both translation and uh, rotation, translation motion is there, but the rotation motion is there. So, translation motion and the new straight line that move move other matter translation and the cover do straight line that other move ugly at a parabolic path another move ugly at a circular path another move ugly. So, yaude type motion is level and yaude type or yaude on the path mulka do move fairly. If the all the particles of the rigid body if they are having a same velocity, then it is called translation irrespective of path. So, you know, the even the particular example only I am taking the wooden or metallic cylinder on the inclined plane, either on the inclined plane there. One do in one do cylindrical object totally. It may be made up of wood or metal. And if you take a P one particle on the edge, P two particle, P three particle at the center of this face, cylindrical face, P four particle. It is in touch with this inclined surface, and this P three particle is lying on the axis of the cylinder. And if you take the direction of P one velocity, it is tangentially outward because it is on the circular face, edge of the circular face. Circular face is to the other end. So, yau the on the object a circular path na limu akta idre. It comes out of the circular path tangentially. So, P two tangentially coming out, whereas P three it is not on the edge of the circle. It is at the center of the circle, so okay, it moves parallelly with inclined surface. Whereas P4, it is in contact with inclined plane, so this uh, velocity of uh, this P4 can be treated as zero. So here it is new on the translation, matte rotational motion combined. Madhaga is bharthadre. It is not only moving from one end to other end, it is also rotating on the inclined plane so rotation and moving from one place to another place so this type of motion is called translation plus rotation then uh, you can take the example of uh, this translation and rotation in the who's easy in the idea of the panther a year it on the parabolic path was more of the no delay either you do translation motion Rotation motion how do, but the translation motion how do. Other pure translation motion Allah. I can't understand. Ah, in this case, the this object is rotating at one end. E end, e lower end in Allah. It is fixed there, but E end in Allah. In rotate that thing. In rotate that ye E side bend me le. Other position change that thing only. You can observe here. E end in Allah. In E side bend that. So in this way, it is not only moving from one place to another place, it is also rotating. Hence, it is called translation as well as rotation. And the translation because translation when it is moving from one end to another end, all the particles of this object having same velocity. Rotation because it's it's rotating when once it reaches the other end it has rotated by 180 degree that is the reason it is translation as well as rotation then we can have some examples on rotational motion 
rotation antandre yavaglu one axis irutade about that axis object is rotating you can take the example of your fan so this is the axis lin dotted line madidala idu axis about the axis fan can rotate in the same way if you take this is the direction of rotation and if you take the example of uh, a pot mud pot placed on the uh, disc you can observe here this is the dotted line is the axis about this axis this pot can move so these are examples of uh, uh, rotational motion and this is the direction of rotational motion and these two dotted lines they are called axis of rotation and uh, you can have a uh, one more uh, such example you can take the example of a table fan and these are the uh, fan leaves and this is the axis z axis and go to for example about this z axis these fan leaves are rotating this is an example of rotational motion you can take the another example uh, this pin top so you can have a, a one uh, uh, axis dotted line in here this is a axis about this axis this spin top is rotating about its own axis you can have a one more uh, example in which the pot is rotating about this axis like this so these are all examples of the rotational motion and in every rotational motion there will be an axis there will be an axis about that axis object rotates and uh, you can have a, a rigid body uh, which can rotate about one particular axis i can take uh, y axis and this is a rigid body in this rigid body i am taking few particles this first particle is very near to this axis of rotation y and this particle is exactly on the axis and this one this yellow dot indicating a particle of rigid body slightly away from the axis and this one is far away from the this particle is far away from the axis so as this uh, rigid body rotates about the y axis you can observe here and these particles these particles also rotates making a small circle about the y axis you can observe here this is a small circle this one is a little bit bigger circle this one will be the the biggest circle in which these particles are moving but whereas this particle is not making any circle because it is exactly on the axis so as the particle move away from the axis they will start to rotate in a bigger circle and you can have a one more example this is the direction of uh, rotation you can have a one more example of a rigid body and i can ha have a rotation i mean uh, the axis of rotation about the z axis and you can have a two such particles of the rigid body uh, both are away from the z axis so they can rotate about the z axis in a circle like this if they are rotating like this so these are all examples how a rigid body or how a particles inside the rigid body rotate about the axis you can have y x axis y axis z axis so it can rotate about one any particular axis and precision is a one type of uh, rotational motion uh, if you take the example of this pin top this is a axis this is a axis about which this pin top is rotating if the axis its one end is fixed here this end if it is fixed and this end the top end if it shifts from left to right then this type of rotation is called precision so precision means it's a, a type of rotational motion in which the axis of rotation changes from one position to another position you can observe this one as the axis changes this side the spin top rotates about this line as this axis shift to right side this spin top can rotate about this axis in this way 
the axis of uh, rotation shifts from one position to another position so this type of rotation is called precision and you can take the example of uh, this fan so this whole fan can uh, rotate about this uh, y axis and this uh, fan leaves can rotate about the uh, this z axis so as fan rotates about the y axis and the fan leaves is rotating about the z axis but as the fan the whole fan rotates about the y axis the z axis has to rotate has to rotate uh, from one end one uh, position to another position so i can show you some uh, uh, video in which uh, i can clearly uh, show that uh, how the axis of rotation shifts from one position to another position you can you can see here this axis of y axis is a axis of rotation this end is fixed it's almost fixed it may be uh, changing its position slightly but it is almost fixed but this end you can observe here it is shifting this uh, oh, axis of rotation y axis it is shifting from one position to another position so this type of motion is called precision and uh, you can take the example of uh, this video a small uh, animation and uh, this fan is rotating the whole fan is rotating about this y axis and these fan leaves are rotating about z axis but as the whole fan rotate about the y axis the z axis also rotating because z axis has to rotate as fan rotates from left to right so in this way the z axis is shifting from one position to another position so like this so this type of motion in which the axis of rotation shifts from one position to another position with one end fixed this type of uh, rotation is called precision and center of mass center of mass means uh, if you take any object it will be having a mass and uh, in that object there is will there will be one point one the object nalli one point irutade aa point nalli uh, entire mass inidala adu alle idiyo anno tara behave martade center of mass andre enpa andre it's a point one the logical point on the mathematical point and tell about at which the entire mass is supposed to be concentrated but new assumption mark of the object and the gondaga other mass are on the particular point nearly the no another other object behave martha the center of mass of a body can be anywhere it can be outside the body or it can be inside the body and the uh, location of uh, i mean uh, under other position center of mass in other position is mel depend agirutadre it depends on the distribution of mass and its shape adu shape yavide object shape enide object shape de mele adu center of mass a body olagade irutta adu body horagade irutta anadu decide agutade i can show you some examples here uh, this is a triangle ನೋಡ್ರಿ ಟ್ರಾಂಗಲ್ ಮಧ್ಯ ಮಿಡ್ಲ್ ಅಂತ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಏನಿಲ್ಲ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವು ಏನು ಕರ್ತೀವಿ ಸೆಂಟ್ರಾಯ್ಡ್ ಅಂತ ಕರ್ತೀವಿ ಸೆಂಟ್ರಾಯ್ಡ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಿರುತ್ತದೆ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಾಸ್ ಇರ್ತದೆ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡ್ರಿ ಇದೊಂದು ಸ್ಪಿಯರ್ ಈ ಸ್ಪಿಯರ್ ಮಿಡ್ಲ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಾಸ್ ಇದೆ ಇದು ನೋಡಿ ಸಿಲೆಂಟ್ರಿಕಲ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಅಟ್ ದಿ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಾಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಥಿನ್ ರಾಡ್ ತಗೊಂಡ್ರೆ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಾಸ್ ಅಟ್ ದಿ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಕ್ಯೂಬ್ ತಗೊಂಡ್ರೆ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಾಸ್ ಅಟ್ ದಿ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಕ್ಯೂಬ್ ಇಲ್ಲೊಂದು ರಿಂಗ್ ತಗೊಂಡಿದೆ ನೋಡ್ರಿ ಬ್ಲೂ ಕಲರ್ ರಿಂಗ್ ಏನಿದೆಲ್ಲ ಆ ರಿಂಗ್ ದ ಮೇಲೆ ಎಲ್ಲೂ ಇಲ್ಲ ನೋಡ್ರಿ ಆ ರಿಂಗ್ ದ ಮೇಲೆ ಎಲ್ಲೂ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಾಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ರಿಂಗ್ ದ ಮಿಡ್ಲ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಇದು ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ದ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಾಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಔಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ದಿ ಬಾಡಿ ಆ ಬಾಡಿ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ಬಾಡಿ ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಬೇರೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಆ ಬಾಡಿ ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಬೇರೆ ಸ್ಥಳದಲ್ಲಿ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಾಸ್ ಕಾಣುತ್ತದೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ವೇರ್ ದ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಾಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಲೊಕೇಟೆಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ದಿ ಬಾಡಿ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಥಿನ್ ರಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಟ್ ದಿ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ನೋಡ್ರಿ ಈ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ರಿಂಗ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಬಟ್ ರಿಂಗ್ ಇರೋದು ಇಲ್ಲಿದೆ ಬಟ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಾಸ್ ಇರೋದು ಮಿಡ್ಲ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಇದೆ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವೇ ದ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಾಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಎನಿ ವೇರ್ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಇನ್ಸೈಡ್ ಆರ್ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಔಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಹಾಗಾದ್ರೆ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಾಸ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಏನ್ ಕಾಣುತ್ತೆ ನಮಗೆ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಮ್ಯಾಥಮೆಟಿಕಲ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಆರ್ ಲಾಜಿಕಲ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವು ಒಂದು ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಅಂತ ಕರ್ತೀವಿ ಯಾವುದೇ ಒಂದು ಅಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ತಗೊಂಡಾಗ ಆ ಅಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ಗೆ ಒಂದು ಒಂದು ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಇರ್ತದೆ ಆ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಿರುತ್ತಪ್ಪ ಅಂದ್ರೆ
ಅದು ಅಲ್ಲೇ ಇದೇನೋ ಅನ್ನೋ ತರ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಬಿಹೇವ್ ಮಾಡ್ತದೆ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವೇ ದ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಾಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಲೈಡ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಾಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ವ್ಯೂಸ್ ಕನ್ಸರ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಆಸ್ಕ್ ಫಾರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ದಿ ದ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಾಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಟೂ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ತ್ರೀ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಸೊ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಟೇಕ್ ಅ ಟೂ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಟೇಕ್ ಅ ಟೂ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೈ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ ಆನ್ ದಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಟೂ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಈಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಅ ಮಾಸ್ ಎಮ್ ಒನ್ ಅನದರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಟ್ ಎ ಡಿಸ್ಟನ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ವೈ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ or from this origin o another particle which is having a mass m2 which is at a distance x2 from y and assume that center of mass is at the center of these two particles c ant en indicate madidilla assume nokolri and sölp kalpane maadkodri m1 matte m2 du madidalli center of mass irabodu and what should be the position of this center of mass assume that it is at a distance x cm from this y axis then how how we should write the position of this center of mass x cm so x cm must be equals to nodi m1 andre mass of first particle and x1 andre it is a distance of the first particle from the y axis in the same way m2 is the mass of second particle and x is the distance of the second particle from the y axis if you multiply both m1 x1 and m2 x2 and add them then you will have a m1 x1 plus m2 x2 divided by the entire uh, mass of the system ee system olage eradu eradu particle idave aa eradu particle serisidire enagutte namage aa system od mass sigutade so m1 plus m2 so m1 x1 plus m2 x2 divided by m1 m2 matbitre then you get x cm what is this x cm x cm is the position of center of mass from the y axis remember this formula x cm position of center of mass from y axis must be equals to m1 x1 plus m2 x2 divided by m1 plus m2 and uh, if you take uh, 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 a system of two particles in which the mass of both particle if it is same m1 and m2 the mass is same idre avaga position of the center of mass en agabodu you can observe here if m1 made equal to m2 then m all ms get cancel so leaving only x m equal to x1 plus x2 divided by 2 so what it indicates x1 plus x2 divided by 2 andre x1 is the distance of the first particle from y axis x2 is the distance of the second particle from the y axis agar x1 plus x2 upon 2 andre na it's a mean position mean position andre if two particles are having a same mass then center of mass we should be at the mean position of both particles ಅವೆರಡು ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಗಳ ಮೀನ್ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಬರ್ತದೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಾಸ್ ಇರ್ತದೆ ಸೊ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಸಿ ಎಂ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಟು ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಟೂ ವಿಚ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಾಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಲೊಕೇಟೆಡ್ ಅಟ್ ದಿ ಮಿಡ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಅಟ್ ದಿ ಮಿಡ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಬೋತ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಮಾಸ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವೇ so we can uh, write the formula of center of mass of two particle system situated only on one particular axis say for example x axis so now we move on to uh, the same concept but not two particle system if system is having n number of particles bari yerd particle la bari more particle la athwa naal particle la if it is having a n number of particles n number of particles and it can be have any number so it can be a, a system of 100 particle it can be a system of 1000 particles so like that so how to find out the position 
XCM is the position of center of mass for n number of particles. If system is consisting n number of particles, then how to find out the, the center of mass? Very simple it is. You have to add n number of times the product m1 x1 product in the n number of times add modu divided by the entire mass and then you have to add the mass of all particles m1 x1 plus m2 x2 plus m3 x3 so on deliver mn x1 divided by the total mass of this system yadudu m1 plus m2 plus m3 plus so on up to mn idhen kodutinimage the position of center of mass of uh, n particle system then we can write m1 x1 plus m2 x2 plus m3 x3 is in the continuous barrio badline new summation symbol hack bari bodu summation i equal to 1 to n and other we are adding the particles from 1 to n suppose if you are adding the particles of uh, 10 particle system 10 particle system to under so i equal to 1 to i equal to 10 i equal to 1 to i equal to summation i equal to 1 to i equal to 10 and then padre you are adding m1 x1 m2 x2 m3 x3 elivarge up to m10 x10 varge new add madakatri antartha so how to how you should write summation i equal to 1 to i equal to n idu i equal to n bardange new adu nai madidini short ag bardidini ashte i equal to 1 to n andre i equal to 1 to i equal to n so m i x i m i x i andre idu ith particle mass of ith particle x is position of ith particle so if you take n equal to 3 thombitre so it will be m1 x1 plus m2 x2 plus m3 x3 if you take i equal to 2 thombitre m1 x1 plus m2 x2 rt so divided by the mass of system the entire system mass so idhe madbekille m1 m2 m3 antu kondidilla illi 1 2 3 badli antu hogbeku i antu hogbeku general agi so m i so i equal to 1 to i equal to n just yes, particle idave ast times id add aagutade ee more particle idre so i equal to 1 to i equal to 3 andre you are adding 3 times m1 plus m2 plus m3 adane heng baridiga summation i equal to 1 to i equal to n m i so you should write you should learn how to write this same formula ee formula anna new summation symbol anna use maadkondu ee rithi henge baribeku anadana new kalibeku you should practice xcm this is the position of center of mass and summation mi is the uh, the sum of all masses adu now yav rithi indicate madbodu capital m capital m andre the mass of the body mass of the entire system so summation i equal to 1 to n mi must be equal to capital m this capital m is nothing but the total mass of the system the total mass of the body if you take a three particle system in a xy plane not just x or not just y i am taking a plane plane and you any two axis xy or yz or zx so here i am taking xy so more particle system to three illi more particle the way first particle is having a mass m1 second particle is having a mass m2 third particle is having a mass m3 and the position of the particle first particle is x1 y1 because it is in the plane xy plane second particle assume that it is the position of the second particle is x2 comma y2 position of third particle is x3 comma y3 so if you draw the diagram for three particle system this is the first particle having a mass m1 and its position is x1 comma y1 is xy plane the lizard okay x1 and the other e particle in the one perpendicular drama with the x1 e particle in the y gave perpendicular drama with the y1 is x1 is the y1 and m2 is the second particle i mean the second particle mass of the second particle and the position is x2 comma y2 so this is x2 this is y2 in the same way the third particle which is having a mass m3 and its position is x3 on the x axis y3 on the y axis 
So in xy plane, its position is x3, y3. If you join all the three particles, then it forms a triangle. Then the center of mass should be in the center of the this triangle. The triangle is center only in the center of mass. It is the assumption mark already. So mark on that. What should be the position? The position is x cm on the x-axis, y cm on the y-axis. This is the position of center of mass on x cm. Y cm is the position of center of mass on y-axis. So what is the position? Yang x1 y1 bari x2 y2 x3 y3 in the auriti bari three center of mass is position yang bari baku x cm comma y cm. But you have to write x cm separately. Suppose if you take only x axis, y axis is lanti kodi, and on the x axis we are having three particles m1, m2, m3 more particles away. How you write the position? m1 x1 plus m2 x2 plus m3 x3 divided by m1 plus m2 plus m3. In the same way, if you assume that there is no x axis, there is only y axis, then if uh, if you write the the position of uh, the center of mass on y axis, how you should write? m1 y1 plus m2 y2 plus m3 y3 divided by m1 plus m2 plus m3. In this way, we can write the position of x cm and position of y cm separately. So like this, x cm equal to m1 x1 plus m2 x2 plus m3 x3 divided by m1 plus m2 plus m3 as we have studied in previous slide. And the position of this y cm, y cm is the position of center of mass on y axis m1 y1 plus m2 y2 plus m3 y3 divided by m1 plus m2 plus m3. So these are the two positions of center of mass on x and y axis and we should write the position separately. And if you assume that all the three particles if they are having a same mass then m1 term cancel out. So leaving only uh, suppose uh, if you take the uh, diagram separate diagram in which uh, so I have taken uh, same mass and if you join all the three positions of the particle having an equal mass then the C should be lying on the centroid of the triangle. The triangle is the centroid is the center of mass. So we should write uh, the position in this case x cm as x1 plus x2 plus x3 divided by 3 will more particularly that 3 percent so y cm it should be written as y1 plus y2 plus y3 divided by 3 will m term barzilla m1 m2 m3 all are equal so m will be eliminated so if you take n particle system in the space space and you know, we should take all the three coordinate axis x y and z axis more axis to work. More axis to undaga now yawriti baribeku system up and the center of mass of position yawriti baribeku. Here also you should write the position separately for x axis, for y axis, for and z axis as we uh, written in the previous slide. Say for example if we are having uh, n number of particles starting from m1, m2 up to mn and the position is x1 comma y1 x2 comma y2 and xn comma y1 so here i am taking uh, all the three coordinate axis so i, I can write suppose this is a if it is considered in a plane so i should write like this so illi nanu jaddondu martha vidini ee rithi bare nodrile m1 position is the position hang x1 comma y1 comma z1 there is the m2 is the position hang x2 comma y2 comma z2 we are taking all the three coordinate system we have to assume that m1 m2 m3 and up to mn all these particles are in space so they can move in any direction they can move along x axis they can move along y axis they can move along z axis so their position can be determined using all the three coordinate systems. So x2, y2, z2. If you take the third particle, its position can be indicated by x3, y3, z3. 
in this way there are so many particles like this iriti sakashtu particles the space olage and uh, we have to assume that this is the nth particle the mn is the mass of n particle and the position should be written as xn comma y1 yn comma zn iriti baribodu then uh, we should write uh, the position of the center of mass the position of center of mass ello ide anti kodri ee ella particle madhyadalli adu ond point nalli center of mass ide anti kodri so adar position heng baridhe niu capital x xcm on the x axis capital ycm andre position of center of mass on the y axis capital zcm position of the center of mass on the z axis ee rithi separate agi niu bari bekagutade suppose if i write the position of center of mass on x axis y matta z axis illa anti kodri bari x axis madre ide anti kodri how you should write uh, we have studied in the previous slide m1 x1 plus m2 x2 plus m3 x3 up to mn xn divided by m1 plus m2 up to mn this is for the position of center of mass on the x axis similarly the position of center of mass on the y axis assume that x and z are absent in this case you should write m1 y1 plus m2 y2 plus m3 y3 up to mn y1 divided by m1 plus m2 up to mn in the same way the position of center of mass on the z axis we should write m1 z1 plus m2 z2 up to mn z10 divided by m1 plus m2 up to mn so these are all xcm ycm zcm vela en pandre these are all position of center of mass on y axis x axis and z axis and uh, we can write all these formulas using the summation symbol so summation akibitre summation i equal to 1 to n m i x i this is for xcm divided by summation m i summation m i ಅಂತ ಬರಿಬಹುದು ಇಲ್ಲದೆ ಇದ್ರೆ ಕ್ಯಾಪಿಟಲ್ ಎಂ ಅಂತ ಬರೆದು ಬರ್ತದೆ ಕ್ಯಾಪಿಟಲ್ ಎಂ ಅಂತ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಬರೆದ್ರು ಬರ್ತದೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ಸೊ ವೈ ಸಿ ಎಂ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಆಸ್ ಸಮೇಷನ್ ಐ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಒನ್ ಟು ಎನ್ ಎಂ ಐ ವೈ ಐ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಸಮೇಷನ್ ಐ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಎನ್ ಎಂ ಐ ಇದು ಡಿನಾಮಿನೇಟರ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಇದೆಯಲ್ಲ ಎಲ್ಲ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಎಂ ವೈ ಸಿ ಎಂ ಜಡ್ ಸಿ ಎಂಗೆ ಇದು ಕಾಮನ್ and z c m should be written as summation i equal to 1 to n m i z i divided by summation i equal to 1 to n m i so in this way so we can write the position of center of mass in space uh, using the summation symbol so the common this uh, common thing is uh, this a pattern ee pattern one sathe ni nodkon bitre practice maad bitre so idr mele nimge gotagutte how you should write the position of center of mass ಸೊ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಈಗ ನಾವು ಏನು ಪ್ಯಾಟರ್ನ್ ಕಲ್ತೀವಿ ಅದನ್ನೇ ನಾವು ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಬಂದಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಅಂಡ್ ವೆಕ್ಟರ್ ನೋಟೇಷನ್ ಹೌ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ರೈಟ್ ದಿ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಾಸ್ ಇನ್ ವೆಕ್ಟರ್ ನೋಟೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ವೆಕ್ಟರ್ ನೋಟೇಷನ್ ದಾಗೆ ನೀವು ಬರಿಬೇಕು ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಸೊ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ವೈ ಒನ್ ಜಡ್ ಒನ್ ಈ ರೀತಿ ಕೋಆರ್ಡಿನೇಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ ಬದಲಿ ನೀವೇನು ತಗೋಬೇಕಾಗ್ತದೆ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ವೆಕ್ಟರ್ ತಗೊಂಡು ನೀವು ವೆಕ್ಟರ್ ನೋಟೇಷನ್ ನೀ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಾಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಾಗ್ತದೆ ಹಾಗಾದ್ರೆ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ವೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ವೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನು ಈಗ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಇದು ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಇದೆ ಇದ್ರ ಮಾಸ್ ಎಂ ಒನ್ ಇದು ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಮತ್ತು ವೈ ಜಡ್ ಮೂರು ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ ಈ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಮೀಟ್ ಆಗ್ತವೆ ಇದನ್ನ ನಾವು ಈಗ ಕರ್ತೀವಿ ಒರಿಜಿನ್ ಅಂತ ಕರ್ತೀವಿ ಸೊ ಒರಿಜಿನ್ ದಿಂದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಒಂದು ಲೈನ್ ಡ್ರಾ ಮಾಡಿಬಿಟ್ರೆ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ position vector of first particle indicated by r1 vector r1 mele ondu arrow mark ide nodri r1 is a position vector of first particle with respect to origin andre origin dinda eshtu duradalli first particle ide annodanna idu helutade it represents the position it describe the position of first particle in the space so r1 is called position vector in the same way if you draw the line from the center to the position of a second particle alli varige one line draw madibitre so then it is called the position vector r2 this is a position vector of second particle with respect to origin in the same way we can write 
the position vector r3 like this so by drawing the line from origin to the position of third particle so how to assume that this is a center of mass ella particle indala ivugalu idu madhye nidala idu ondu center of mass idu ante kodri so avaga new origin dinda e position of the center of mass varige new draw madibitre idu nam en kredi position vector of center of mass you can indicate it by differently by capital r so capital r indicates the position vector of center of mass then how we should write idu idin barivek hange antare illu nodi ee position first particle position hange barithippa antare illi r1 r1 equal to x axis ge new unit vector anna i antu hogbeku along the y axis unit vector should be j cap along the z axis the unit vector should be k cap so how we should write the position vector r1 r1 should be equal to x1 i cap plus y1 j cap plus z1 k cap in the same way r2 can be written as r2 equal to x2 i cap plus y2 j cap plus z2 k cap in the same way we can write r3 as r3 equal to x3 i cap plus y3 j cap plus z3 k cap in the same way we can write the position r vector as capital x capital x i cap capital y j cap capital j k cap ಅಂತ ಬರಿಬಹುದು ನೀವು so you can write the uh, this position vector using this symbol alli mi xi ant it nodi mi xi ant badli ithe ant hokili ri vector ant hokbeku mi ri vector nimge illi xi yi zi avashyakate illa adakke nimu helbeku mi ri vector illi kelagade idu en vector symbol barudilla yakandre mass is a scalar quantity so summation i equal to 1 to summation i equal to n mi represents the total mass and the center of mass of a rigid body rigid body thagonbitre alli rigid body valage sakashtu particles irthave pratiyondu particle anna nau add madodagli athwa adanna adadu position vector represent madodagli adu position represent madodagli andre it is very difficult so that is the reason i am going to group uh, some particles i mean uh, ig 1000 particles da ante kodri 100 particles one group maadibitre there will be 10 such groups one group nalli 100 particles anta avu estave 10 so 100 into 10 nothing but 1000 particles so avaga neevu 100 group en idala 100 group anna neevu iga m1 antandre mass of first particle delta m1 antandre its a mass of a group of particles ಈಗ ಒಂದು ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಒಂದು ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ತಗೊಂಡ್ಬಿಟ್ರೆ ಆ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಮಾಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ನಾವು ಹೆಂಗೆ ಬರಿಬೇಕು ಡೆಲ್ಟಾ ಎಮ್ ಒನ್ ಇನ್ನು ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಹೆಂಗೆ ಬರಿತೀರಿ ಡೆಲ್ಟಾ ಎಮ್ ಟು ಆ ರೀತಿ ಸೊ ಡೆಲ್ಟಾ ಎಮ್ ಒನ್ ಡೆಲ್ಟಾ ಎಮ್ ಟು ಡೆಲ್ಟಾ ಎಮ್ ತ್ರೀ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಅ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಮಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಬರೀ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಅಲ್ಲ ಮಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಇದರಿಂದ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತಪ್ಪ ಅಂದರೆ ನಮಗೆ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಆಗ್ತದೆ so it will be not very complex and uh, it will be very easy for calculation so we can write uh, the ith element delta m i antare eno idu mass of the group of ith element element antare eno group of particles delta m anodu ond element m anodu mass of particle delta m anodu mass of element element means group of particle ಆ ರೀತಿ ಸೊ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ರೈಟ್ ದಿ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಾಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡ್ರಿ ಎಂ ಐ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಐ ಸಮೇಶನ್ ಐ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಒನ್ ಟು ಎನ್ ಎಂ ಐ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಐ ಅಂತ ತಗೊಂಡಿದ್ರಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಏನ್ ತಗೋಬೇಕು ಡೆಲ್ಟಾ ಎಂ ಐ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಐ ಅಂತ ತಗೋಬೇಕು ಸೊ ಡೆಲ್ಟಾ ಎಂ ಐ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಐ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಡೆಲ್ಟಾ ಎಂ ಐ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಮಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಅಂತ ಎಲ್ಲ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಗಳದ ಮಾಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ನೀವು ಟೋಟಲ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬಿಟ್ರೆ ದೆನ್ ಯು ಗೆಟ್ ದಿ entire mass of the system summation i equal to 1 to n 
delta m i delta m i means the mass of ith element i can be taken any value i equal to 2 anta ombitre i equal to 1 to i equal to 2 andre delta m1 plus delta m2 so yellow element of the mass and then you search betray then you get the mass of the entire system so in the same way you can write the position of center of mass for y axis y c m equal to delta m i y i and to x i but the y i to and uh, you can write the position of center of mass on z axis summation i equal to 1 to n delta m i z i and to numerator part is the denominator part in the as it is remains same because it represents the mass of this system yalla element of the mass and you total marbitre you can see the the mass of this system and we can use the integration instead of delta m i delta m i summation of delta m i and no but then you have to integration of dm and so summation of delta m i and integration of dm both are same only difference is delta m i summation of delta m i and the rest sum of the mass of all elements so integration of dm and the other no same mass of all elements so both represents capital m capital m means the mass of the entire system in the same way a summation of delta m i x i how you should write integration notary delta m i badli and the new d integration dm and the book x and as it will x i and the house the new is summation bandak matra new i and the book summation not the new integration use matter i and not the use matter but dm x and then better the delta m ano badline dm and birthday i and not the the end prefix in the other other cobra today so integration dm x in the same way summation delta m i y i can be written as integration dm y and summation of delta m i z i can be written as integration dm z ingo bari bodu athwa integration of x dm integration of y dm integration of z dm anthu bari bodu then in this case ill nodri formula hang ittu madlige x m is summation of i equal to 1 to n m i x i divided by summation i equal to 1 to n m i anthu idanna hang bari beku antandre so ili summation of i equal to 1 to n m i m i anto l bari tiri a jagada ge niu delta m i anto goku il bari tiri nota li so delta m i anto badli niu ay madabokku integration use madi tiri bari dm anto use madabokku so ili m i m i anto nubad summation i equal to 1 to i equal to 1 to n m i e term badli even use maad bodu integration of dm anth use maad bodu but x on term idhi yak anth adhi x i anno badli ne ni will anth obukku direct agi x anth obukku try to ni will dm x anth badhu rashta athwa x dm anth badhu rashta yalla vandhe so divided by summation i equal to 1 to n m i e term in represent maad thadhi re capital m which is nothing but the mass of system अगर नाइन मर्ज़ी नहीं वन बाय यम मंथ देनी इट इस इट इस डिवाइडेड बाय यम मंथ देना ना फर्गे वन बाय यम मंथ इट देनी सो एक्स यम शुड बी रिटेन एस नो डिल एक्स यम में हैंग बरी देनी है वन बाय यम इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ एक्स डीएम इन द सेम वे वाई सी यम इक्वल टू वन अपॉन यम इंटीग्रेशन वाई you should learn how to write the position of center of mass using summation without summation using summation and using integration symbol so with this i am completing my first video in the next video i am going to continue the remaining part of this topic